What's going on guys, and today I've got a completely different video on my channel, I've never done a kind of match review before and today I am going to be starting it, I'm going to probably do this every week um, for just Celtic and Man City games, maybe occasional different games if there's like good games that have happened, I might do it for quite a lot of games, I'm not too sure yet but I'll definitely be doing it for Celtic games, um, so yeah you should look forward to that in the future. We're going to go into today's game, we did play Wolfsburg today, I was at the game, it did end 2-1 Celtic, very very fun game to watch, I would say the first half was probably a bit better than the second half, but I'm going to kind of walk you through um, what I felt the game was like, if I feel like um, we're all looking good going into next season, uh, how some of the players performed in this game, stuff like that, so yeah let's get right into the video. So we started off the first half very well, we dominated Wolfsburg in um, the first 10 minutes, Ab they, they just had none of the possession, had a couple of shots, um, but the majority of possession were, were, kinda, were in our hands, we did have a few attempts and goals as well, um, and it just looked like they were getting nothing out of the game, but then in the 11th minute they did get a goal out of nothing, it was a deflected shot um, that kind of that kind of caught out Craig Gordon and went in the back of there, it was disappointing. There wasn't really any atmosphere when it happened, there wasn't a lot of Wolfsburg fans there, if any, I couldn't see from where I was sitting, um, but yeah, it just seemed like nothing had happened, the atmosphere just went, and yeah, it was really weird to kind of sit there and listen to that, but um, we got right back after that and we just continued to dominate them, even though they were 1-0 up, we just continued to get them, uh, dominate them, and they just they just had no chance, and then 10 minutes later, we did get that equaliser through Cal McGregor, very, very nice finesse goal, um, there was a few, ch I think it was the run-up, um, Cal McGregor could have played that cross to Patrick Roberts, who would have had an open goal basically, but you know, we know what happens when Patrick Roberts has open goals <laughs> against Rangers, but he, didn't, he did uh, try to pass it, I believe, it deflected back to him and he did take a shot and it finessed it into the top corner. Really, really nice goal from Cal McGregor. Um, I've not really rated him in previous seasons, I think he's been decent. He wasn't too good last season, but hopefully he can regain the form and do well for it this season. The rest of the half wasn't too good, there wasn't many, uh, there was well, there was a few chances but there wasn't anything kind of spectacular happening. It was a bit boring, um, but... The first 20 minutes were very exciting, you could kind of expect the rest of it to be they were just going to sit back a bit and kind of let the rest of the half just play out. And that's basically what happened, Celtic weren't looking likely to score a goal in the rest of that half, but nearly, neither were Wolfsburg. So, there was nothing really between them for the rest of the half and that's just how it went into half time. One out half time, very good half from both um, teams and it was looking like an exciting second half to happen. And then the strangest thing happened, you'll see it on screen right now. Um, we made 11 subs, we we substituted every single player that was playing, everybody came off and we put on a completely new squad for the second half, they only made 5 or 6 changes I believe, we made 11 and it just transformed it, it was loads of youngsters in the field, a youngster also got manned a match which I'll tell you about at the end of the game, uh, or the end of today's uh, second video and it did look like a new team, I mean it was a new team but it did feel like a new team, a breath of fresh air in there the rest, the the end of this uh, first half, you can kind of tell there was not a lot of ideas going through, um, not idea, not a lot of ideas maybe happening towards the last five minutes. We needed a few substitutes on. I didn't expect eleven to come on, but I wasn't complaining. We did bring the eleven on, um, and it did change the game. We we dominated from them for large pos uh, kind of um, points in that second half. They were struggling to get anything out of it. A lot of the same players that had started. Um, you could tell we're getting a bit tired, um, ours weren't because they were all just on, so I think that kind of helped us in a way, and we did of course get um, that second goal in the 62nd minute, Ryan Christie getting that goal, very very nice goal from him, uh, and that just put us in, in pole position to go on to win this game. They, after that, there was a small area of the um, of the game where they did actually kind of dominate us, which was a first for Wolfsburg, they weren't dominated until that kind of moment, um, but we did hold off, we did kind of push them back, we did start to kind of counter-attack them, and they realised they kind of had to um, not maybe put as many men forward, they did have like some of their good players on as well, they did have Dost on, they did have Dante on, they did have Benaglio on for the first half, it wasn't like they were playing a very weak squad at uh, Wolfsburg, so it was a good win for us in the end of the day, I mean... The second half, we did beat them when they were using their... We did beat them 1-0 technically in the second half, if you think about it. Um, when they were using one of their strongest squads, possibly, with a few exceptions. And we were using a lot of youngsters. So that's good to see. The youngsters look very promising. It looks as if Brendan Rodgers wanted to use one half in the first half and then use a kind of... Um, a kind of... 
younger squad in the second half to see how they would do, to see how they would fare together, maybe bringing them through in the future to kind of play together. And it seems like a very good idea. He wants to get them a lot of experience so they can come into the first team next year and hopefully be a big part of Celtic season. And that leads us on nicely to the man of the match. It was Christopher Ayer, 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 however you say it, I'm not too sure. He did get man the match. He was pretty impressive at that centre defensive, uh, centre back row, sorry. I'm not too sure if we bought him or he came through the youth. Um, I probably you do have to look it up or tell me in the comment section, guys, if you do know. I'm not too sure what happened um, to do with that, but he did have a good game when he came on. A really nice tackles, did give away a few cheeky fills there, um, maybe fills that he, he didn't have to give away, but at the end of the day, he probably was one of our best players. I'm glad to get man the match, as he is a youngster um, who probably deserved it. Anyway guys, hopefully you have enjoyed today's match review. If you want to see more, make sure to drop a like on the video. If we can hit 15 likes, that'd be absolutely insane, guys. Comment down below and um, what kind of matches you'd like to see me. If there's any matches upcoming that you'd like to see me do a review on, make sure to tell me in the comment section down below. Subscribe as well if you're new to the channel or just enjoy my content in general and have been watching for a long time. Apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.